Hey everybody, in today's quiz to review, we're going to be talking about the newest roller coaster that will come to University of Islands of Adventure called Jurassic World Velocicoaster. This coaster isn't actually officially open yet, but it does open on June 10th of 2021, which by the time we make this coaster review, we're actually about a month away from the actual opening itself. So if you don't want spoilers, please, at this time, click off of the video. But if you want to hear all the spoilers and hear everything about this ride, please continue watching. So let's get started. The coaster features four inversions, including a weird-looking implement, a dive loop, a stall, and also what is called the Mesolosaurus roll, which is also a heartline roll. Which, for this coaster review, we're going to call the heartline roll the Mesolosaurus roll, just because, in my opinion, it sounds better. So, let's begin. The entrance itself, it's a very impressive entrance, and it's a very big one. At this time of me making this coaster review, usually if you're passing through the bypass bridge, you would get a really nice view of the entrance. But because of that bypass bridge is closed, you don't really get that amazing view of the entrance just coming up over the um, walk over the trees. So you just walk right up to it when you're going to it currently during the um, during pass holder preview days or soft openings. Which, by the way, I did not ride Velocicoaster during, a, during the pass holder preview days. I rode it during a soft opening, which was amazing. I got a total of six rides on this coaster, got two in the front, two in the very back, and I got two in the middle. So I have a pretty good ride feeling for this ride, and I mean, that's why I'm making this coaster review so early, because if I only got like one or two rides, I probably wouldn't have made it, but because of the amount of rides I got and the good feel I got for the coaster, I'm going to make it because I know what it feels like in every row. Now, let me be honest here. This is a front row ride. This is, yeah, a front row ride. The back row is pretty tame, which in my opinion, it's okay. I definitely do think that the um, ride could be a bit more intense in the back. But in my opinion, I found the best forces towards the front. And it definitely was more aggressive in the front, which was very interesting. Especially on that dive loop, which, which for some reason, the dive loop gave literal ejector air time coming into it, which was pretty freaking cool. So now let's start with the ride. When you're inside the queue part, when you're not in the extended part, you're going to be greeted into an amazing room, which is filled with beautiful velociraptors, which is actually really cool. After these velociraptors, which are absolutely amazing, you're going to go into a room where the launch tunnel is, which this launch tunnel is actually one of the coolest parts to ride. You can see the coaster go through its second launch, and velociraptors follow the train. And one of those velociraptors itself is actually blue, and it's actually really cool. The next part of the room, you get a pretty cool pre-show area. And then you see the Velociraptors, which is actually really cool. Which is actually one of my favorite parts of the ride. Favorite parts of the queue. So now when you're on the ride, you hit the first launch, which includes a pretty cool pre-show. That pre-show is actually really cool. It, also, it sounds like the Velociraptors are trying to break out of their cages. Then that first launch kicks in, which is absolutely amazing. That launch goes from 0 to 50 in less than in about two seconds very good acceleration it has a very fast acceleration as well but for one of the coolest parts of the whole um ride then you go into a weird looking element into a dive loop which gives insane eject the right time if you're in the front row and then you go into an overbank which leads into an air time hill which then that leads into a turn which goes through rock work which is really cool one of the many interactions with it you go into an S bend, into an air overbank, quick off axis hill, and then you hit that second launch, which that second launch pushes you into your sheet, into your seat, and then you climb that big top hat. In the front row, you get a pretty good pop of ejector in it, and then it's floater. The back row is where you want to be on this drop. Then after that drop, you're gonna be blown away by what comes next. And also another thing about the um drop is you want to be in the back row, like I already said. The front row is okay, but the middle rows are pretty good. After this amazing drop, you're going to go into the Zero G stall, which is a really good stall. It really does hang you upside down for quite a few seconds, which I really like about it. By far, it's a really cool inversion on the ride. It's definitely one of the, my favorite parts of the ride. And after that, you're going to go into what me and another coaster enthusiast called the Bowl. It's basically a double helix style element, but instead it includes an off axis hill, and an overbank, and a wave turn, which is actually a really cool thing. After that first wave turn, you're going to go into that off-axis hill, like I already said. And then, after that off-axis hill, you're going to go into a um, another a, a normal overbank. Which, that normal overbank, pretty fast-paced overbank. It's a very well overbank. 
it was really fun. Then you go into a quick bunny hill into the Mesosaurus roll. Which that Mesosaurus roll is super cool. It provides a pretty good whip. And definitely recommend having your hands up whenever you're going through it. Because that's what makes it so much better because you're floating out of your seat. Then, finally you're going to go into a quick S-bend. Which surprisingly gives ejector air in most of the seats. So that was the ride experience itself. Holy crap, that was absolutely amazing. So what do I give this ride, you might ask? Well, this shouldn't be surprising. This is a perfect 10 out of 10. And yes, this is going to be a controversial opinion. I like this ride better than, than El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure. And yes, I just said that. In my opinion, this is the full package that I would love to have on a roller coaster. It's everything that I look for. It has great airtime, a great experience, and the theming is really good. It's universal. What do you expect? So that's why this is my new number one roller coaster. So yeah, it's a really fun ride. And that's why it is my new number one. So if you guys enjoyed this coaster review, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Tell me guys what all your thoughts on Velocity Coaster are in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye.